Hey guys, Joseph here. Today we're doing another Joseph car video, and today is it's another repair video on the Saab 95. And today I'm going to be showing you how to replace sun visor. You probably did see in the holiday video that the if you watch it, the flap's broken. This, this bit, the flap. They're quite flimsy little thing. You can see how flimsy the hinges are. So yeah, let's get down to the car right now. Right guys, I'm in the car and there's the sun visor. There's some screws that hold this in, but I'll just make sure I unclip it from here. Just to loosen that, let's push it there, so that access to these two screws. And now I want to find out what bolt it takes. So I'm going to pause until I found out. Right, so now, just need to undo those two screws, I think. And it comes off. And I'm going to have to remove that, I found out, just to get this off. See, so yeah, I'm going to pause until I've found all the screws to undo all this. Right, so now. Right, guys, it takes a T25, so first I'm going to undo that one here. You guys start undoing that. <laughs> I'm gonna pause until I undo these bolts. Right now. Right guys, this is a T20 and those two are T25. So yeah, I found the correct screw, so now I'm gonna start undoing it. Like a long screw. Right there, it's a screw. Yeah, that's one and does now need to undo those two twenty twenty fives. And I hope I can get the harness since I've pulled it out. See so yeah, I'm gonna pause until I've undone them two what it was two T twenty fives there. Right now I'm gonna pause until I've undone them. My bad, they're actually a T20 as well. So I'm going to pause until I've undone them. If you put a T20, I'll just keep slipping. That's what I found out. So I'm going to pause until these ones are undone. Right, guys. So when I undone that, I've put a screw in there for a couple of turns at both T20s. <laughs> then and none of them are T25s, T20 torques, all the screws. Okay, so I'm going to pull in this out. So I'm going to pause until I've got it out. Right guys, I've got it to hang and the connector is in there. So that's what I've done with this one, I pulled out the connector and it's wrapped in all this. So yeah, these, I'm going to have to try and pull this thing back. As simple as to disconnect, a simple disconnect. See, I'm, I'm just un. See, I'm gonna pause until I've reveled it, undone it to get it down there. Just off that connector, so I can pull out the connector. Then this, I can put to go this out. So I'm gonna pause until I've reveled all this down. It's just. So yeah. So I'm gonna. So if you can't, you can't be able to save, but I'm. I'm actually pulling it down. But I'm trying to just pull as I do it. So I'm going to pause till I've done it because I need two hands here. So I'm going to pause. Right, guys, I've got down to this connector. You, you'll feel a bit of a gap. I'm not sure if I can get any good lighting of it. It's very poor lighting, but I might not get it there. When you get down to there, it's really sticky this bit as well. So when you've disconnected, never pull from the wires. Always pull from the connector. And you just have to roll that fabric down so you can pull it off. So yeah, I'm going to pause until I've pulled it off. 
Right guys, why this is hanging, never make sure there's no stress on the wire, which in my case there is no stress, because I've left the screw in there. Don't fully, a screw is in there so I don't have any stress on this wire. Make sure there's no stress on the wires. But this bit of wire, I don't really care if I break it, because I'm replacing it. But that bit there, you want to care about that, because that, this bit here is the connector. under here you have to pull all this down which it does have on each and you can tell I've rolled mine down here the connector should click out which is really hard to get out I think I'm, I'm trying to think how you get it out it's really hard yeah, but I'll get it out in the end, guys. I'll keep trying. I might have to use some ink to get it out. So, yeah, I'm going to pause until I get it out. Right, guys, I've got the solution to get it out. Get your screwdriver. And there's a little important bit I need to show you. This bit here, I want to wait. I'm going to get some light to show you. I promise to show you how I got it out. There's a little lock thing here. There's a little hint that you should pull out. I'm going to wait till the sun comes out and I'll show you guys. I can tell it's really hot in here. So I'm going to pause until I get some light. Right, guys, in that hole, there'll be a little tab that you push in. Don't you think you pull it out? You actually push it in. This bit is a thing you push in with your screwdriver and it unlocks it and allows you to pull it out. I want to push in. Right, I'm gonna, what you're meant to do, push in. And then you push in, then it comes out freely. So now I've got the wire off. Here it is. There's a tab here, you push in and it pops out, which now has happened. So now easily get your screwdriver and undo that nut bolt I've put in so here's my screwdriver it took me a while to figure out so yeah I'm gonna pause till I've undone it because it's just all gonna fall once I've done it I might have put you guys there see there you go right guys I'm gonna undo this screw You might not be able to see that. It's a T20 Torx of. I think it's a T20. It might be a. Not sure. Yeah, it is. It's a T20. I'm just finding my T20. There you are. Yeah, I've got it. Here you go. Keep undoing until it pops out. I'm going to use the old screws to put it back in. I've been dropping that connector. I thought it would be tons harder than this. What is holding it in? Oh yeah, it's one of these alignment thing. Ah, this is hard. Yeah, I'm gonna pause until I figure out how this thing comes out. I think you wiggle this. I think you have to wiggle that to get it out. Now I'm just gonna just go and do what I was gonna do is wiggle. You might be able to see, you might not. It really aches your arms. There you go. And out comes the whole thing. So I'm just going to grab the new one. 
You're wondering what this bit is, guys, and this. That slots in. And you have to wiggle that around. You have to wiggle that, and that is to hold this in. I'm going to put it in. There you go. And then uh, that flap down. Yeah, I'm gonna pause and figure this out. Right, guys, flap this out and then flap that out. Like that. So that goes in. And you put that locking bit in, which will find it. Yeah, I'm gonna pause until I find it. Right, guys, have it set up like that. And I'm gonna start fitting this now. So, yeah. I'm sorry for putting you down like that. See, so, yeah. I'm gonna slot this in like before. That slots in. Yeah, I'm using the old one again. It's going back. This is reinstall my new one. See, I'm going to wiggle that in and I'm going to pause until I've put the screw in a bit. Right now. Right, guys, I managed to get it to hang. So now, slot in the new connect to it in. Doesn't bend easy. I hope I never have to take this out for a very long time. Get it in line and click him. Now, moment of truth. Just wake the lights up. Does it work? Turn that. Yes, it works. Now let's go. No stress. So I'm gonna do that up. I'm gonna push the harness in. Yeah. So I'm gonna pause. Do this up, then I'm gonna start doing this up on camera. So right, I'm gonna pause. Right guys, this was so easy to do, I can't believe it. So now I'm just going to revel this thing back over it. This new one, obviously. So now I'm just reveling that over, which I'm thinking I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to slot the thing back in the harness. Doesn't really matter. That is where the connector is in that cloth. So the connector is. But everyone just goes cutting the wire. But you don't have to do that. You just, you just ravel that thing back and you're there. So I'm just going to slot this thing in through that hole. That is. It's on its brand new connector. See, I'm going to pause until I've fed that in. Right now. I've managed to feed it all up there, so now I'm going to do this screw up just so it's holding, so I'm going really to be back to you guys. So yeah guys, I've decided to tighten one of the new bolts, the others are missing to this. Don't matter. See, I'm going to start doing it up more, so I'm just put, tightening it up now. <laughs> all real tight, so I'm putting it back to real tight. See, here you go. Looks f factory. See, I want to do the other nut up and then I'll be back to you. Right, done them two nuts up, done this up. There you go. Fixed. There you go. So, how does it look different? No, it doesn't. You put that out, you need to look at yourself. Flaps up. There you go. <laughs> there you go, guys. All nice, look, good in look again. That looks nice and cool. The proper lights. See if the others are just as bright as that one that needs an e-bulb. That one's just about hanging on, that one. Yeah. That one just keeps clicking off. There you go. That's so right. I'm going to jump indoors, put all this tall stuff away. Yeah, I'm going to pause while we put all this away. 
right now. Right guys, this is the connector to the mirror. It's a broken connector that came with the mirror. It just been, I think the person that sold us that mirror cut it off. Cut the connector off. Here's how the connector works. You have your mirror and you can't get it off. Well, this is what you have to do. Get a screwdriver and push that in. Push in there, which lets you pull it out. That's how that thing works. It goes in. So yeah, I'm going to pause and go and end the video. Right, guys, this ends off this video. Please subscribe. But before we end this video, I've forgot there. Eh? Yeah, that connector I showed you out there. That come off the old mirror. The new mirror that we built. But it seems they've just cut the connectors right in half. So what I've done, I found the connector, I've just disconnected it from the connector. And just, you know, I got it off the other harness. Pulled the connector off. Push a new connect for the new mirror into the old factory harness. That saves a bit of soldering. So most people didn't know about that hidden connector, I don't think. So I decided to solder it. And I really looked at it. So yeah, let's go end off this video. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell and give this video a like. And share with your friends. Right guys, if you like gaming, please subscribe to Joe Sib. If you like car videos, please subscribe to Joe Sib Cars. If you want to see my previous video, click on see previous videos. Now please subscribe, like and share. It will help a lot.